Good morning, good morning. What's up, what's up, people? What you do, shorty? So, today is another vlog. Y'all, today I'm actually just gonna do home chores. Guys, can you just, can you just give silence to the sun? Like a vitamin D, but I can't even open my eyes, but a vitamin D. Um, today we're doing laundry and I'm deep cleaning the place. So all you guys will be tuning in. So if you're someone out there watching this vlog and you wanted to clean, come on, wake up, move, keep it moving. Okay, this is me motivating y'all that let's clean. It's a Saturday today, so let us clean. So basically cleaning for me, it's not only like when the environment of the place around me is clean, then I'm fine. But like I'm also cleaning my mental, guys. It's my mental. Oh, I'm using this today because I'll be outside a lot, you know. So it's, yeah. I think that is why. And okay, and okay, yo. I have a pimple here, here. Funny enough, I remembered something my ex boyfriend used to say. Whenever I'd have a pimple, like, yeah, he'll be like, I'm so going you, you know. Okay, we don't have time to be thinking about him, okay? So, what are you gonna do is we're gonna change. Then. We're gonna have open the windows and then chow breakfast because we can't be having all the energy. We need caffeine, okay? We need a coffee, okay? Yeah. So yeah, I've never been so complete with this place is always dirty, but guys, guys, don't look like that. Guys, this thing always makes me look white. Like I'm bashy, but I kind of gave it. Why it's doing that, but child. So yeah, little big, little big. Nothing you spoke, but I can do my hands. You see the pimple. You see. Yeah, we also have to take care of that because we can't be having pimples. Okay, like we cannot. You forgot him, ah, so last. Yeah, because I wanna. Wash manje, get a session every day, cause I'm not a fan of working hard, okay? Especially doing laundry. I'm at home, okay? Hope we never washed by our hands, but we have to compromise. You know? So, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Guys, talk right now. Move one, the right one. Then we can break first, and then I'll put you on the kitchen. Move one, move one, move one, move one. So good. Thank you. Move one, move one, move one, move one. Oh, excuse me. I'm about to have breakfast. Like everything should be just chop fast, chop fast because I don't want people taking the line out outside. Like this nigga corner, so I really don't want that. So I have to do fast, you know. Chop, chop, chop. Guys, 
guys i've tried doing this recording for 25 times but i'm not getting the right words to describe how i'm feeling or what has this day given me cleaning today i'm sorry for the kid in the background but cleaning today wasn't about me making sure that our room is clean but it also benefited me mentally knowing that my head space is in the right place because i am not feeling fine remember we're going through a breakup here okay okay like we need to be fine we need to prep for monday and cleaning today and just realizing my thought and talking to myself and being like, hey, you're not okay. Just recognizing the fact that I'm not okay, it means a lot because I now know how to deal with my problem. And me embracing the fact that I'm not over someone, it's a way of me, like a way to heal, if I can put it like that, right? So I cleaned around and as I was cleaning, I was just realizing how much I was feeling that I've been bottling for the whole week. So taking care of yourself is important, guys. Like, oh my goodness, this child. Taking care of yourself is important. But not only that, making sure that your space is clean. Child, when your space is clean, girl, I kid you not, you, you kind of feel fine somehow in the midst of everything. So... If there's someone who's going through a rough, rough, rough time, just know that everything is going to pass. You're going to be fine. You're going to be well. Don't worry about it. Here I am. I'm surviving every day. We're going to get there. And stop pouring your heart in the rock, people, okay? Make sure that you fill your cup first before you go out there and fill other people's cup. Right now, my cup is not filled. I don't have the energy nor the stamina to go fill other people's cup. If someone takes me and like, they're not okay, brah, at this moment, I tell you that, hey, listen, I'm also not okay. Can I talk to you when I am okay? I'm going to pray for you. i move on. And some people find it so heartless, but I'm not okay, okay? Like, literally, I'm not okay. And I don't pour my traumas to people. So, take care of yourself. Make sure that you nah, And then you can take care of others, okay? Hi people! Guys, I'm just gonna give you a story about what happened between me and my ex-boyfriend because I've been giving you clues that I'm not over him and I'm not okay, I'm not functioning now. Go, well, fad now! Oh ma, I'm a fad now! So, me and this human, we met in Durban vibes great time i had to move back to johannesburg because and obviously the distance <laughs> too much okay fine the distance is just like literally too much and i tried i think i would say but i just didn't feel the other party was trying so i i bounced and the one thing about me is that when I bounce, I'm not going to say bye, I bounce. I just vibe, bruh. I just vibe, bruh. Because it's... A reason why I don't say it's over, like we done. I just don't like the tension people do. Like, especially guys. Like, guys don't take a breakup and nah, you know. But yeah, and I'm hurting. Like, I'm hurting because one thing about me is... I never wear my heart on my sleeves. I never found someone that I love. I usually find guys that love me more. And I'm like, okay, I can work with you, you know. <laughs> because like I settle in a way. Because I don't want to date someone that I personally truly love. Because it's... Guys, I've been hurt. Yeah, I've been hurt. Hey, I'm a fan. Yo, I've been hurt, so I never find a guy that I love so much, you know. And when I'm saying I've been hurt, I'm taking this to the other guy, not this one. I lost Kuna guy right now. The other one, that one really scarred me. Truly, it scarred me. Like when I'm fucked up, ne? I can move. Oh, 
I feel like calling the, the other one, ne? You feel like calling him and be like, what, blah, 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 but I can't do that generally. Because I'm gay, co fine. So, yeah. So, if there's another girly who is like going through the pain of the heart, because hey. if there's someone else going through that, please let's, let's do Buzana each other on the comment sections. But, yeah, yeah the video is done. I'm done cleaning. I'm waiting for stuff to dry up so I can put it on the bed. And everything will be cute and fantastic. The house is clean, smelling all great. I can eat from the floor. So yeah, that is all guys. I'm not cooking today because I'm tired. Guys, I was in Shaya is Pongo Sam and it's so it's so painful. Guys, I can the Angna Mali so Nama Gota. So yeah. That is all for today. I'm closing the vlog here. Thank you for watching till the end. If you did watch till the end, please comment. Comment what you guys. Comment what. Comment you'll be fine. <laughs> Come on. I'm not fine. I don't think I'm saying I did, but... But yeah, I'm give a little bit of But I'll meet y'all in my next video. I think I'll be posting Fridays. Every Friday, I'll be releasing a new video. But... Let's just start day one and then two and then three here ball. But for now, every Friday I'm releasing a new video. Today is Saturday though. Ooh. Weekend. I'm not sure which weekend, but weekend I'm hey. releasing a new video. So please be a part of the family and subscribe. And this little house of mine, I'm closing it. I will see y'all in the next vlog. Bye.